What is up guys and welcome back to another Minecraft video and today I'm just going to be walking around talking about how I'm probably going to be starting also with the Tornado Survival which will probably be in this version uh, 172. I'm going to be starting a 1.9 either whenever it releases or just here pretty soon in a couple days or so. Um, just a sur regular survival um, and I mean, I hope it's going to be cool because of all like the new features like the dual wielding and the new end and all that. And I'm really excited. The only thing is that I'm going to not have these beautiful shader packs that I have right now unless they update it to 1.9, which I hope shaders still continue because I really would hate to have to come back down to a version just to use the shaders. And... Yeah, I mean, I really just don't want to have to come all the way back down to like 1.7 or 1.8 just to use the features. Right now I'm using it on 1.7 because they look a lot better on 1.7, most of the shader packs. And 1.8, some of them are too bright or the color isn't as good. And so that's why I just don't use them in 1.8, but I would get a lot better performance with them in 1.8. Alright guys, well, I am very sorry about that. Um, I was also going to show y'all that I'm probably going to be... I just had a little interruption, just ignore it. Um, anyways, like I said, 1.9 survival, hopefully going to be coming. I am going to miss the shaders mod a lot, but um, apparently, hopefully it'll be updated to 1.9 in the future. Um, if not, then we'll just have to... Whenever I want to use shaders, I'll just have to come back down to this because shaders really change the game a lot. And hopefully, the people that make the guy that makes the shaders mod knows that, and he'll keep updating it. And he doesn't like you know, at least if he passes it on to someone else. I mean, because that's what happened to the first creator, the guy that actually created the shaders mod. Um, you know him a long time ago. Uh, I think it was like Dan Danextro or something like that, or I'm not sure what his name was, but uh. Or maybe it was actually Sonic... No, I don't... Sonic Ethers was the first shader pack, not the first uh, shaders mod. Um, but the guy that made the GLSL shaders mod a long time ago was uh, someone different. And then they resigned and gave someone else their work to keep the shaders mod going, um, which was uh, Crayonix. He uh, owns the mod now, and he like pretty much updates it and works on it a lot. Um, tries to keep it up to date. Because right now you can play with shaders on the newest version actually release, which is 1.8, not snapshot 1.9, but 1.8. And yeah, you can do that. Um, I'm gonna, I am gonna show y'all what I'm probably gonna start using instead of my field of view on normal. This is what I'm probably gonna be playing like now because it looks a lot better for me. I think I like it. We're gonna be playing with Quake Pro, which looks really cool. It makes the game a little more exciting because like. See, like, if I were to change that back, those trees look really close. And I just think Minecraft looks a lot better being far away like this, so. And also, with the shaders mod, it makes it look kind of, motion blur looks kind of cool like this. So, it's really kind of cool. And when you run, it looks like you're, it feels like you're running a lot faster. But I think you're running at the same speed from this angle. It looks like you're running, like, a lot faster. 
By the way, I'm going to try to change my pack because I'm getting some lag for some reason. Um, I can check my settings. Um, nothing on here should be lagging it, really. I think it's just the um, all these trees I'm jumping on and it's trying to render a lot of stuff. Um, anyways, if y'all could please leave, smack that like button and subscribe and leave a comment on this video and tell me if I should um, start 1.9 survival um, or not and hopefully when when that actually gets a full release because it's still in snapshots um, and, and who really knows when it's going to be full release hopefully sometime the end of um, the this m month or not the end of this month I think but next month maybe if I'm right unless it's September already I'm trying to say at the end of September at the most is when I'd say it'd be done or near the middle. They might even be done, you know, this Tuesday, which I doubt that, but I think there's still a lot more bugs they probably have to patch and fix and all that, so. Um, I'm not sure when we'll see the full release of 1.9, but it looks like it's a really good update. I've done snapshot video of it. You can check that out. Um, I'll try to leave a link to it in the description, and... It just shows me, you know, reviewing, I think, the first snapshot of, yeah, the first snapshot where we're dual wielding and all that. I haven't done another one yet, but uh, maybe I will. I don't know why I would, though, because the snapshots I would probably would review are pretty old. Um, but uh, the shields are in it now, so that looks cool. The shields are in uh, 1.9, so it's kind of cool. I um, really can't wait to use those. Hopefully the Shaders mod, you know, like I said, gets updated, because then it'll look really cool with the shields and all that. Um, if you could please smack that like button though guys and leave a comment in the video and subscribe that would really help me out a lot and just comment below if this is enjoying if this is stuff you enjoy me talking about or if I should just go to my regular videos and also comment below if you think I should leave this FOV on normal which looks like this or this, which I've actually gotten used to Quake Pro now, where when I turn it back to normal, it looks really weird. So, um, anyways, and I'll also leave the shader pack link below. Um, I don't know how I'll do that. I guess I'll just, you know, I'll do it, though. Um, I'll, I'll make sure to leave the shader pack link below if you want to use this. It is, uh, or I could just show you, and I think I might do that instead. It's, uh, Kuda Shaders 4.1 Ultra. Um, really old pack, but I really enjoy it. Um... But anyways, guys, this has been Minor for Iron Gaming, and it's been a joy talking to you about this new news coming. Um, um, don't uh, please correct me in the comments if I did not get the creator of the uh, Sonic or the uh, GLSF Shaders model right because I can't remember who was the actual creator. Um, but I know it, it has been taken over uh, by Crayonix, and he like upload or he uh basically tries to keep it up to date and tries to make it for like all the versions and uh, maybe one day Mojang will just uh, in implement the shaders mod like this actual shaders mod into the game where we don't even have to put a mod in where it's like pretty much already in all we have to do is like get shader packs so that they create or get you know like these shader packs but uh, hopefully that'll come sometime soon if not we always have this mod hopefully it just stays updated all the time um, and as of right now, the latest version is 1.8, like I said, so just please comment, rate, and subscribe. And this has been Reiner Fern, and I'll see you guys in the next video.